Those who didn't win should have respect for the greater interest of the nation, says President-elect Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. The President-elect of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, has asked those who did not win in the just-concluded general elections to have a large heart for tolerance and respect for the greater interest of the nation. Tinumbu said this in a statement released on the official website of Tinumbu's Shetima campaign on Tuesday, March 21, 2023. Indeed, during the election, indeed the elections are over. The people have voted to elect their governors and state legislators that will serve them for the next four years. The time for leadership and governance is now upon us. In a democracy, majority would have their way. But that majority must not suppress the minority from having their say. As Democrats, we have to safeguard free expression. Winners must be magnanimous and those who did not win should have a large heart for tolerance and respect for the greater interest of the nation. As the elected, the only way to justify the trust and confidence of the people and the mandate entrusted in us is to commit ourselves to the service of the people. We must all work diligently and sincerely to make life better for the masses. As elected officers, we have no other assignments than to be burden bearers for the masses and ensure that they have better life than we promised during the campaigns. We must take urgent steps to unite the people, those who voted for us and those who did not. We must champion the healing process by embracing the opponents and their supporters. As I have stated previously, the time for politicking is gone. This is time for nation building, a task beyond one individual or a section of the society. We need every hand from wherever it may come to be on deck. I'm ready to work with you all as your president. I will be a worthy partner you can trust and rely on as we all bond together. In unity of purpose and renewed hope for the betterment of our blessed country and beloved people. He said. So let's take the comments. Someone says. The way these crooks are instantly seeking for elective embrace, showing false sense of care and healing, either the electoral heist and human crime can be linked to how our society treats a woman after she has gone through physical abuses, multiple infections, side chick and children, outer wedlock. Almost the same approach. It's giving, don't lose your marriage over this. Forgive and forget. Our society is just too criminal individually and institutionally another said coming from someone who didn't win this is ridiculous another said oh guy if it's sure for you say you win kindly keep quiet and go defend your stolen mandate in court no they disturb us by trying to force yourselves on over 150 million nigerians another said but you didn't win another said may tenure tenure favor you and me but for those that believe they will suffer, may God grant them their request. Um, another said, a wise man once said, if you are to be referred to as your excellency, then the process which you arrived in office must be excellent. Another said, but you didn't care the nation about the nation when you were playing your do or die kind of politics. Another said, why article appeal day like this? Which one is declare me the winner? Another said, self-acclaimed president-elect, keep whining yourself. They play. Well. Another said, I never even recover from the election fever as in air. I neck chairman and police air. With some Nigerians and their mentality air, I tire. It is well. God bless Nigeria. Another said, as if they pain them, it is sweet us. Tinumbu Shatima is here. Another said, say that to yourself, cause... You are the one that lost. Another said, But well, Tinumbu didn't win now. He's probably talking to himself. Baba is making an idiomatic expression. Another said, Jagaban's eight years as a Nigerian president will favor all of us. But those that wish to suffer will surely do so. Another said, Correction, president select. Another said, point of correction, Baba, Inek elect. 
Another said, Oga, step down for person where we vote for. No, they force yourself on us. Another said, but you said we should go to court. Now you are saying you want to embrace. Oga, which one do you really mean? I be the thing don't start like this. Another said, that is what you get when I ne grossly violate the enabling laws of the Electoral Act. Another said, I wonder if the idiots, where they advise him, um, are honest. God in heaven will surely put them down. Another said, um, and he's sick and in Europe. So I heard. Another said, um, the greater interest of the nation is that we should not use thuggery and criminality to elect our leaders. Another said, another press release. We are in for a lot of press release for our CNC without seeing or hearing directly from him. Another said, if you wanted peace, you and your thugs, court governors and INEC leaders would have left the real result. After rigging, you are calling for peace. Tinumbu, you did not win. Another said, coming from someone that shamelessly stole someone else's mandate in broad daylight. Another said, he is definitely talking to himself. Another said, akin to someone who steals your car then promises to offer you free ride daily to work. Another said, coming from Tinumbu is now that you need respect, Abi. When you were busy rigging elections, you didn't think of respecting yourself. Another said, we are not ready to work with you, sir. Don't patronize us, Baba. Face your leadership. Make your face front. Another said, coming from someone where they for sick bed in Europe, you're just forcing yourself on us. Stolen mandates must be returned. Another said, did you win? Did you have the interest of the country at heart? Now, wow, the regime Guredo. Another said, sir, come and see comments and you will know you didn't win. More than 80% cannot be against a real winner. Never. Another said, um, Everybody gets interest for this country now. Our interest is to reclaim the mandate. Another said, Reporting from the hospital. Then another said, Not when the ones who claim they won don't have respect for the masses. Another said, Baba don't they fear. You go soon return that certificate. No worry. Another said, coming from a grand, great grandpa without respect, did you respect the people's votes? Another said, the reason why the country is calm is because those who didn't win are challenging those that INEC selected. If it's sure for you to defend your mandate, you can also buy the entire judiciary. Another said, all of them are now bad, they give on a headache. Now I understand why he is called Jagaban for a reason. Another said, we know elect you, Baba, coming from someone that didn't win. Another said, is the audacity for me. He and his fraudulent team and did the opposite of everything he stated here. These people have no shame. Another said, did you know where the hospital or which one? Another said, and you think you won free and fair, right? What a clown. Um, another said, Tinobu Jagabam, the only standing opposition since 1999. Omo Yoruba Atata, if you like, make you die. He go finish his tenure and even run for office the second term. If you wish him death, then you will go before him. If he is in Mekunaro Namu, start lamenting in pain and agony. Another person said, You lost our footage for this man. How do you sleep at night knowing fully well that he won't be running the affairs of this country effectively while constantly receiving treatment? May God forgive you all for your ignorance, tribalism, wickedness and greed. Look at Nigeria's situation and swear there is hope for us as this man becomes the president. May your conscience ponder on this if you have any. Another said, Tinumbu, you have asked us to go to the court. Now we have carried the case to court. You are sounding defeated already. Another said, you want to remind the people you have tribally and ethically divided. I laugh in Chinese. Another said, to be referred to as your excellency, the process that brought you into the office must be excellent. Another said, look who is talking about democracy. We have educated people in Nigeria and we have eyes to see and ears to hear all the rigging and injustice that happened in the elections. We are not dumb except for a few tribal people. How can you talk of democracy when you are the opposite of it? 
Another said, Baba, I thought you've gone for medical checkup. Is that why they are writing on your behalf on your website? Okay, so these are the comments and trust me, many other comments that have trailed Bola Metsinumbu's president-elect of Nigeria saying those who didn't win should have respect for the greater interest of the nation. It's been confirmed, I think, yesterday that um, Peter Obi has submitted the, and started the process to challenge the process of the INEC. And also, um, Atuku Abubakar has also submitted the petition. So, it's just what it is and um, we just hope that this nation will find peace because honestly, the atmosphere is not joyful. The atmosphere is not excited. Um, unlike what you know, should be when, you know, the new crops of leaders and all of that, considering the cash crunch that is gradually fading away, but people are still, you know, pressured about getting their money to be able to do their transactions. The CBN governor just came out a few hours ago to apologize to Nigerians about the issues on with online transactions and all of those other things. So, Nigerians, it is a wonderful time to be Nigerians. We just hope for the best. Please take care of your mental health and all will be well. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. To our new subscribers, thank you so much for joining. And to our existing subscribers, thank you for always, always stopping by. We'll see you in the next news. May God bless Nigeria. Bye for now.